Aloha. Welcome to my live stream. My name is Master Paul and it is my deep honor to be here today. I am a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Zhigong Sha and this live stream and the past four or five months of doing live streams like this have all been dedicated to the teachings uh, that Dr. and Master Sha brings to humanity. Today is November 23rd, 2016 and today's wisdom and teachings are about how to use the power of soul and soul healing to transform our relationships, specifically the way relationships bring stress into our life. So through the course of this day, I will be doing some what's called divine flow. I will be connecting with everybody individually to, uh, to check in with you. And that um, if there might, there may even be someone that I'll do a flow or two for uh, that has specific stress in their relationship. We'll do some divine reading on uh, a few people to, to get some inner guidance. Um, the divine always has solutions for any blockage in our life because we are divine beings. And of course, divine has the greatest knowingness. So one of the wonderful aspects of the teachings of Dr. and Master Shah is that we do have available to us answers which is truly remarkable when we stop and think about it to be able to have answers available to us <clears throat> in this very stressful environment that we currently live in is a huge blessing so on monday we focused on the stressors associated with finances and um, our perspectives on abundance and some tremendous wisdom guidance and insights and blessings uh, occurred for us on that day. Yesterday we focused on the stressors associated with the word job and the jobs that we have. And this included um, our coworkers, our bosses, the inability to maintain a job or when we're in a job or not happy, whatever the stressors around that is. And we got some, again, some wonderful insights on that as well as some, uh, I was able to offer an example of a crown chakra blessing. And there were uh, actually three or four people who have responded and, and are looking forward to receiving that blessing. Some of them have already received it and others uh, will be very soon. <clears throat> and today, we'll be focusing on stress associated with relationships. Um, now, in offering these uh, blessings, these wisdom, these teachings, and sometimes it might feel like I'm repeating myself, um, but in many ways that's not a bad thing. One of the things that happens at Dr. Master Shah's retreats and when you listen to him on the telephone calls is he repeats himself a lot. And, um, but it's very pertinent because we never know when we're actually going to remember what is being said. And when it comes time for us to apply it in our life and or share it with others, we're going to be grateful that the repetition allowed us to uh, shift our life. So, um, Although the subject matter might be repeating on some levels, like I have spoken about relationship, this is specific to the stressors in relationship. And so we'll hopefully get some new insights and wisdoms today as I check in with the divine. So we have some, quite a few people joining us. Welcome Chelsea and Ari. Welcome Chrissy. Welcome Stephanie. Welcome Kristen Strachan and Petra Marie. <coughs> welcome Davorka. Welcome Shari. Welcome... Uh, Linda Jansen and Lori Svengard and welcome Sarah. Let me, um, that's a little late. <laughs> Hopefully I won't have too many sound effects on my phone. I usually mute them before I go live. I forgot this time. And welcome Richard Amodio as well. So thank you all for joining. I'm going to go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul with love, peace and harmony because it does set the energy field. Uh, instantly um, heaven was here I felt my nose itching right away so heaven is ready to serve all of you so let us connect placing our hands in soul light soul service hand position left hand uh, dropped in front of the heart center right hand gently pointed upwards close your eyes take a deep breath in and release become fully present dear the divine dear the Tao dear the source all layers of all committees, dear original creator, we love you, we honor you, respect you, and I bow down to you. Dear the beloved Master Jesus, dear beloved Mother Mary, dear beloved Namo Ami Tofu, dear beloved Jesus Kuan Yin Buddha, dear beloved 
all beings of light, including masters, ascended masters, lamas, sifus, gurus, and saints, buddhas and bodhisattvas, angels, healing angels, and archangels, our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. We love you all, honor you, respect you, and again, I bow down to you. We ask you to please be present today, to come to sit in each of our heart centers, those that are alive now, those that will watch this video later. Bless us all that we can release the stress of relationships, receive new insights and guidance to transform our perspectives on relationships, and allow us to move forward with new, better, and healthier relationships. We ask the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony to please turn on. And we ask it to reach out to all souls in all universes. And we ask all souls in all universes to turn on this Source Soul Song to chant with us, to bless this practice today, to bless all humanity. We're very grateful. Let us chant. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, 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 Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Oh, I was in her ling. Oh, I turn and lay. Wang li rung her musher shang. Shong I ping on her she. Shong I ping on her she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. <coughs> how, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, the source, soul song of love, peace, and harmony. So, uh, welcome, Tawana. Welcome, Patrice. If everybody would please, if it feels comfortable to you, hit the share button. Uh, there may be other people that might not even see this until a day or two or three down the road, and they could be having workplace stress or relationship stress, and all of a sudden they see this video plop onto their timeline, and they say, hey, and they watch it, and it could change their life. So thank you for that sharing. Thank you, Tawana and Kristen, for your shares. <clears throat> so welcome, Patrice. So I'm going to ask uh, all of those that are currently watching to please... Uh, if this is a, a subject matter that is directly related to something happening in your world, stress in relationship, please share um, the, what you define as the source of the stress in the relationship. Um, I can never seem to um, get my husband to understand me. Um, my youngest child is, is uh, always in a temper tantrum and it brings so much stress in the family. Whatever it is, okay? See if you can uh, identify some of the core of that relationship stress. And we'll see if we can do a soul reading or two on it. I won't be doing everybody. I'm just going to choose a few. But we're going to use it as some guideposts for today's wisdom uh, and blessings. <coughs> okay, so welcome, Angie. So I'm going to start by doing a flow. I'm going to ask the divine... What is the nature of relationship stress and what are the solutions related to that that we may not be aware of? <coughs> Dear beloved divine, I love you, honor you, respect you, I bow down to you. Would you please borrow my mouth? Offer us some guidance and insights re regarding the nature of relationships the purpose, value, and significance of them, why we have problems with them, and the stressors associated with them, how we can best resolve those stressful uh, 
conditions. And what is your perception on relationships and your perception that would ensure uh, no stress around a relationship? We are deeply honored and grateful for your guidance. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is your beloved divine. I bow to all of you. I am your unconditional servant. The question has been posed, how do I perceive relationships? I will use my relationship with each of you as an example. You may think that it is different because I am God and you are my children, but in fact, you are an aspect of me, and therefore we must be in alignment in thoughts, words, and actions. So in understanding my way of being in relationship, by emulating what I will share with you, you will equally discover that stress is not of value and is actually a side effect of a much larger imbalance. <clears throat> For my beloved children, my subdivided souls, if you will. With each of you, I have a parent-child relationship, a child-to-parent relationship. I have a husband-to-wife relationship, and I have a friend-to-friend -friend relationship. I have any possibility of every relationship ever configured or thought of with each of you at once at the same time. Let me say this a different way. You are not my child only. You are my parent. You are my friend, best friend. You are my lover. You are my ex-lover. You are my relationship in every possibility that it can exist all at once. Because I view you, communicate with you, resonate with you from this alignment, I am able to see all the sides of every interaction every time you talk to me at night every time you sing with the grace of God in your voice every time you cry in such pain and suffering I am always present to each of you as you have each of your experiences and my relationship with you in those moments is much like two balls coming together and rotating in perfect harmony. You are rotating and I am rotating, meeting you exactly where you are in that moment, caressing you, holding you, assisting you, keeping you in a position that you can best release whatever is happening for you that we can both be in love. This visual 
is designed to help you to understand how you can be in your relationships. Could you imagine the screaming child that drives you crazy in the grocery store and you meeting the child where they're at with the greatest compassion that a father or mother could have, with the greatest wisdom that I have. Each of us must learn to emulate the meeting the other exactly where they are with the greatest compassion and the greatest love. When we are there for them in that way, whether it's the unpleasant co-worker that brings stress as a relationship, whether it is the pet that poops on your floor, and challenges your relationship. I bring my highest self to each moment. And in doing so, I am no longer in selfishness. I am being selfless. I am being present to all of those that are an aspect of me. You think you are separate from everyone, but you are not. They are part of me. You are part of them. They are part of you. We are truly one. So by being, emulating this as your example, by being not in your reaction, not in your response, not in your pain, not in your selfishness about what you are wanting or needing, but by being present with love and compassion. The miracles happen in those seconds and moments. The miracles that you so desire in all your relationships that are stressful happen right there. Why? Because it is the purity of separation from your place of self-righteousness, etc. The purity of the love and compassion that is all of us, that melts the precursor to the stress. When that individual that is the source of the stress can no longer respond or react in a way that has brought you stress, then naturally your stress will be released. This is the example of me and you always being in the perfect side-by-side -side balls rolling together, honoring, loving, and respecting each other in perfect harmony. I hope this explanation is understandable. I am confident it is applicable and can serve you well. The key is to remember it and apply it consistently throughout your life. Doing so will self-clear karmic debt, allow you opportunities beyond a measure to have much greater and higher love, compassion, forgiveness, and health, happiness, wealth, flourishing, and so much more because you are in alignment with oneness in this way of being. It is my greatest honor to offer this wisdom at this time through this channel. I am your beloved divine. Ah. Let us bow our head nine times to the divine with the deepest gratitude for this phenomenal wisdom. Thank you, thank you, thank you, divine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. I keep thinking that 
that some of the flows, they, I, I, I just keep thinking that, you know, how, how could we get, how is it possible to get even more unique wisdom than what's been coming? And that was just amazing. Simple, but amazing. So, anyway, share your thoughts. Any, any thoughts that you might have had on that flow? <coughs> uh, welcome, CJ. Welcome, Esther. Welcome, Angie. Welcome, Nicole. Welcome, Judas. Welcome, Mary. Welcome, Marina. And welcome, Rianne. Welcome, Daniel. Hopefully, you all coming in got to hear that amazing flow from the divine. So I'm going to read some of the comments. I'm asking those that wish to share uh, the source of their relationship stress. We will then apply some of the divine's suggestions through this flow to help bring about some transformation. Okay. Okay, so I see that Petra Marie has said, um, Welcome, Shari. I don't know if I've commented and welcomed you. I sometimes have stress in the conversations with her mom, uh, so I close my heart to her. What is the core? Okay, um, uh, I will um, do a flow for you, Petra. Uh, Lori Svengard says, I find I get irritated with my husband when I don't feel heard. Thank you. Daniel says, I appreciate your daily videos. You're very welcome, Daniel. Thank you for your comments. Okay, Linda Jansen, having issues with the youngest daughter, doesn't want to spend the holidays with the rest of the family, having a hard time coping with this. Okay. Why does my Uncle Jim treat me with no respect or appreciation, says Stephanie. Uh, my need my almost three-year-old to want to stop breastfeeding would be a wonderful miracle today, says Angie. Just talk to the soul, Angie. Okay, so I'm going to do a soul reading uh, for Linda Jansen and uh, for Petra Marie Lennon. <clears throat> so, dear the soul of Petra Marie, the soul of the question, I sometimes have stress in my conversations with my mom, so I close my heart to her. What is the core? The soul of this question, the soul of um, Petra Marie's mom, uh, the stress associated with this. Um, the response that Petra has, and dear the soul of the divine, um, could you please come? Could you please offer Petra an answer um, that can best be understood by all and can best serve Petra in being present to her mom? <laughs> My beloved daughter, Petra. You have just heard an example of how I connect with each of you. I said, I am your daughter, I am your father, I am your mother, I am your children, I am your lover. I am all of these all at once. What do I mean when I say that? I mean that I recognize that the patterns from the one opposite of me has a direct correlation to me, that they have been all of those things to me at some point in time, or our relationship would not have the karma that it has. And by being all of these at once in the golden ball, so to speak, I am able to not take it, any of it, personally. I am able to see the much bigger picture from the oneness perspective. My encouragement to you, my daughter, is to keep your heart open to your beloved mother. She brought birth to you in this life, as you have her. She was your best friend in at least four lifetimes, and you were her confidant as well. You have been so many variations of so many relationships that you would be flabbergasted. Allow yourself to love her as I do. When you speak, have no agenda 
for your outcome. It is often the agenda and need for validation of your perspective, etc., that creates irritation. Yes, your mother will say unpleasant things. That is her nature because of her karma. My message, my teaching, is for you to always be in that place of love and compassion, free of your mind stuff, your yeah, but what about me? By being in that consistent place of love and compassion, she will melt. She will release the karmic reactions and responses because she simply will not be able to keep up her lack of healthy, unhealthy communication given that the blockages are melting in the moment. You'll be quite surprised. I challenge you to do this for 21 days. Be that perfect, unconditional communicator. Observe your irritations, your I'm right, your why doesn't she listens to me conversation in your head. Acknowledge that they can wait. They have not served so far in healing your relationship. And so let us try a selflessness of love and compassion. I would be hard pressed to believe that there would not be results. I will be watching. I love you, my beloved mother, daughter, sister, brother, best friend, Petra. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Linda Jansen says, having trouble with youngest daughter, doesn't want to spend the holidays with the rest of the family, and having a hard time coping with this. To the soul of Linda Jansen, this question that she has about the youngest daughter not wanting to be with the family in the holidays, the um, unhappiness surrounding it, and the highest and best way to release any of this stress according to the divine way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please offer this guidance and insights as to why this might be happening and what is the best response. This is the divine. My beloved mother, Linda, your daughter cares for you deeply. She has been the one in the family that is both strong and yet quiet when you wish her to speak up. She has been the one that has unique insights that no one else had thought of but is often not heard. She is the daughter that wishes to prove everybody wrong because she does not feel heard and understood. You just wish for the family to be together because it is like a salve on a wound. Not that there is deep wounds, but that it is the right thing to do. It is what makes us all feel better. It is what Christmas is supposed to be, after all. And therefore, there is a lack of heartfelt connection that you would truly appreciate based on these needs. I wish to offer you and all that are listening during this holiday time, this time of cheer, this time of recognition of the holiday spirit, a great 
teaching at this time. Because you, our dear Linda, represent many of the people that are watching now and will watch in recording. There should not be a special time of year for love. There should not be a special time of year for gifts. There should not be a special time of year to align to the divine. There should not be a special time of year to honor the children, such as a birthday. Each moment is an opportunity to offer gratitude, respect, appreciation, love, and forgiveness. It is when we are not doing that that we experience stress in the relationship from pick a name. Think about it. Pick any person you have stress with. Are you out of forgiveness? Are you out of gratitude? Are you out of appreciation? Are you in selfishness? Are you in I am hurt? Are you in what about me? Are you in I expected da 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 da? Where are you at with each of those relationships that's causing you stress? By being a soul that is meets the other soul where they are at with love and compassion. You are not in selfishness. You are not in a lack of respect. You are not in a place that is causing you stress. Do you get it? I understand that stress can hit you from many places. I understand that you may be a victim, but as your beloved divine, the perspective that I wish to offer you is a much bigger one that whatever that stressor is, it can be met with a roundness that does not allow you to be the target as an arrow hitting a wood board. Rather, you are a rounded sphere of love and compassion and whatever is quote coming at you has no opportunity to hit and stick it rolls off of you and therefore you have no stress there is only so many ways I can take each person's question and lead them back to this wisdom and teachings let us now do a practice using Shah's golden healing ball as your visual for being the rounded love and compassion. I, your beloved divine, will borrow this one's mouth to lead you through this practice. Please, everybody, sit up straight. Please, everybody, request the soul of three of those in your life that you have relationship stress with. Invite their souls to be present. I have invoked Shaw's Golden Healing Ball and I have asked it to go to each of you to sit in your heart center. It is there now. It is spinning now. It is quite large, the size of your chest, and it is bright and golden. It is already radiating to those souls you have invited. Let us do forgiveness with these souls. I will lead you. Repeat after me. Dear my beloved, I truly love you. I recognize you in this experience as my, you could say, brother, husband, boyfriend, mother, whatever they are. 
and I love you. I sincerely apologize for not seeing your beauty, your crying out for love and compassion. I recognize that we may have had many, many experiences together. And it is time that we move forward instead of sideways. Please forgive me, my beloved ones, for all of the times I have blamed you for any stress that I may be experiencing. I do not say I am responsible, rather I say to you, let us both together move forward with love and compassion for each other. Let us move forward in selflessness to support each other and let us honor each other. I thank you for being my greatest teacher, my greatest friend, my greatest lover, my greatest child, and my greatest parent. I thank you for all of this and more. And now let us see Shah's golden healing ball spinning, radiating its light as it swaths around your aura in a huge circle. And it radiates to these three souls you have invited in, clearing the relationship blockages between you. There is a line that runs from your heart center to theirs. This is the relationship. And Cha's Golden Healing Ball is clearing the blockages, clearing the blockages in this relationship. Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball, blesses my relationships. Shah's golden healing ball, blesses my relationships. See the amazing light. See the smiles on those souls that you have invited in. Continue. Shah's golden healing ball clears my relationships. Shah's golden healing ball clears my relationships. Shah's golden healing ball clears my relationships. Repeat after me. Dear these beautiful souls, I love you. I wish very much to have loving, supportive, and honoring communication with you. Please forgive me for any time I have not honored you when you wanted to speak. Forgive me for any time I have pushed you down when you felt you had something important to say. Please forgive me when I misunderstood you or your intentions. Please forgive me for making my agenda and expectations more important than you. Please forgive me for holding you to a standard that you did not agree with. Please forgive me for harming you emotionally. Please forgive me for speaking to you with disrespect. Please forgive me for not listening and validating your feelings and your needs in a way where you felt completely heard and understood. Please forgive me 
for not bringing love and compassion to each of our communications. I truly love you and I truly wish for the entirety of our future that our relationships prosper and operate on love and compassion. Shaw's golden healing ball blesses my relationships. Shaw's golden healing ball blesses my relationships. Give beautiful big hugs to these three souls with all your heart. Shaw's golden healing ball blesses my relationships. 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 Shaw's golden healing bow 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 blesses my relationships. Shaw's golden healing ball blesses my relationships. Shaw's golden healing ball blesses my relationships. Continue to chant silently as I offer you a third eye and soul reading as to what is happening right now with this blessing. Shah's Golden Healing Ball has actually subdivided and went to each of these souls that you have invited in. And inside of you and inside of them, this Golden Healing Ball is radiating astounding, astounding light rays. The light rays are literally dissolving lifetimes and lifetimes of relationship blockages with these three souls that you have invited in. It is radiating love. It is radiating the Divine's love. It is radiating deep, deep compassion for all of the times they have wished to be heard, they have wished to be understood, all of the times they have tried to stand up for themselves and it did not work. They are receiving such tremendous love from the Divine. There is, in their heart centers, a very special rainbow light coming in. And this very special rainbow light has unique frequencies. These frequencies are literally bringing about a consciousness that is a future-based consciousness. A consciousness of the high-level societies that are presently in existence, where they operate in full love. This consciousness has been integrated into each of you during this incredible blessing. This consciousness will help you to sustain the teachings and wisdom you have received here today. That when you catch yourself in a automatic knee-jerk irritation, an automatic uh, judgment or criticism, that you turn on this blessing, this remembering, and bring love and compassion in that moment. That you remember the Divine's perspective. That you visualize yourself as the Divine in the golden ball, rotating while the other person is coming down off of their irritation. You receive, of course, self-healing while doing this. This is what is occurring at a cellular level for each of you. There is cellular level healing as the cells have relationships with each other 
and wrong messages have caused some cells to have imbalances in their communication with each other. And this is being rebalanced through this frequency, through these waves that are being brought to you through Shah's golden healing ball. Let us chant for a few more minutes. Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball, blesses all my relationships, blesses all my relationships. Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball, blesses all my relationships, blesses all my relationships. Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball, blesses all my relationships, blesses all my relationships. Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball, blesses all my relationships, blesses all my relationships. Ha, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us bow our heads to the Divine who has led us through this practice. Thank you, Divine. Thank you for the flow. Thank you for the practice. Thank you to Shah's Golden Healing Ball. Thank you to the souls that have come for this practice. Countless bow downs, countless bow downs, countless bow downs. So I see there are some other souls that have been their stress with relationships. Um, the uniqueness of this today was that God gave, uh, through, through, through a flow, He gave um, wisdom I have never heard of, which made a tremendous amount of sense to me. I will do my best to remember that wisdom through all my relationships. My encouragement is for each of you to remember that wisdom as well. And so I hope that if you have just come in and you were unable to hear the flow to please go back and listen again. It was truly an extraordinary wisdom. I then used two of the, um, two of the people to do soul readings for and we were able to see how that wisdom could be applied uh, the same but uniquely different in each of those relationships. And so you don't need me to go through and define your specific relationship concern or the source of it. What you need is to apply this wisdom that the Divine brought to us through today's practice. Um, you have the additional values available to you. You have the Love, Peace, Harmony song. You have downloads and transmissions that you may or may not have received through Master Shah's books. You have uh, the heavenly treasures available to us. Shah's Golden Healing Ball is just one of them. And you can call upon these to bring extra power, extra frequency. And these tools, these soul songs or these heavenly tools, um, they bring such potent power that just by doing a practice of this nature for five or ten minutes could clear potentially uh, uh, the next five or ten years of unpleasantness depending on the amount of... Um, holy beings that you invite in and the, and the tools that you use. Chant longer, better results. Very simple. Uh, there's a lot of pain that we experience with stress in relationships. It seems to be never ending because if it's not at home, it's with a coworker. If it's not a coworker, then it's with a, an ex. If it's not with an ex, then it's you know a, a child. Whatever might be, they, the, the stresses seem to come from us from so many different angles. But specific to the relationship stress, I believe that the wisdom the Divine shared with us can be applied in a very simple way, in a perpetual, forever way, to create the greatest benefit. Because when we're not in our stuff and we're fully present for them, we can be that great being that, the, the, that is spoken about by great beings. Um, Master Shah often gives reference to some stories where... Uh, a Buddhist monk, may, may, you know, people may spit on him and he would just wipe it off and say, please forgive me if I have ever 
uh, harmed you in any way in any lifetime. He doesn't react or respond. He offers love and compassion because this is the highest road. And it's hard to do with those closer to us because we have our agenda. We have our stuff. It's, you know, I fall into these traps all the time. I'm not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. I learn and listen just like you. I've heard what God said. I will apply it just like you. But we can get better. And as we apply the ten das that Master Shah has brought to humanity, greatest love, greatest forgiveness, compassion, light, humility, greatest harmony, which is what this teaching is about, um, greatest service, greatest gratitude, uh, 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 and greatest flourishing, all of these das naturally occur. Our stresses will become less if we're not focused on our agenda, on our uh, uh, most important needs. When we are there for them, that clears that karma between us. You get it? That was the, the essence of the wisdom that God gave us. So I hope that uh, the practices that we've done, the flows that came, the applying those flows to serve those two people, you can apply to you and your particular um, relationship blockages in your life. Please um, let me know what happens when you do that. Because it's, it's, it's neat to hear uh, and read some of those things a week or two later saying, you know, I was doing this. This relationship's been a long-term issue for me. I decided to follow the, the golden ball imagery and just be that golden ball, be that love, be that compassion. Uh, and sure enough, this transformed. Um, you know, sometimes it's easier to be that way than to, um, than to try to rote just, just to be... Um, in a forgiveness place. Sometimes it's just hard to forgive when we are hurt, but it is possible to be in a place of love and compassion for those people. So try that. So I thank you all for coming. Tomorrow it is Thursday in, in America. It's a holiday, so I will not be here. I'll be uh, driving around the island with my wife, enjoying the day off. And um, uh, I will be back on Friday. Let's see if there's any other comments. Um, let's see, I have Petra. She says, Wow, thanks for the great flow from Divine. Thank you so much for choosing me. It seems to be challenging me. I will hear the flow again and go deeper. Um, that's wonderful. Thank you. Uh, welcome, Walkir. Welcome, John. Welcome, Barka. Um, uh, Petra says again, thanks for reminding me of the wonderful practice, Shah's Golden Healing Ball, the forgiveness practice spoken out was very powerful. I know, huh? That was the divine coming through. I'm, I was listening while the divine was doing his version of forgiveness with those souls that we invited in. And, um, you know, for me, uh, sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm teaching and I'm flowing. So I like, I forgot to invite in three souls <laughs> to do the practice with while I'm in this uh, teaching flowing mode. So I, I need to go back and do that. Um, so Aline, uh, Aline Matthews, please come to my website, asoulhealer.com. I actually have a soulmate attraction system regarding meeting your twin flame. It could assist you a lot. Anybody that's looking for a soulmate should go to my soulmate program on my website. It can assist you. Uh, you're very welcome, Tomana. Thank you. Thank you, Kristen, for posting the, uh, the links. And um, thank you, everyone, for your sharing of the videos of this um, uh, teachings. Uh, there's... You know, heaven actually gives you a lot of virtue um, when somebody's life is changed because of, of, of your share that you might not even know. It could have went to a friend who went to a friend who went to a friend. You don't even know who that person is, but their life could have been changed. Heaven gives you the virtue. Wonderful sharing. Thank you, CJ. Okay. Linda says, wonderful flow from the divine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we're going to call it a day. Enjoy your day tomorrow. Enjoy your day today. Try to remember the essence of the flow. Whenever you find yourself in a resistance point with anybody in a relationship, especially those who bring the most stress, be that round ball of love and compassion. You could find a significant difference if you are consistent with that. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, real simple and short calling. If you do have blockages in relationships, I don't know that um, the, the crown chakra blessing would be the best choice in every case. Sometimes, yes. Sometimes it needs a different blessing because a crown chakra blessing can only be for you. 
um, you might need a different blessing for the relationship itself between you and that other person, especially if you try this and there's still no results. Then the karma is too heavy. So um, connect with me and I'm happy to, to do soul reading for you specific to that relationship so you can get the appropriate guidance as to what divine service might be most appropriate to help clear those blockages faster. Okay? Love you, love you, love you. We'll see you on Friday. Bye-bye, everybody.